Today we will be discussing regarding occult blood test. Fecal occult blood test is a lab test used to check stool samples for hidden occult blood. Occult blood in the stool may indicate colon cancer or polyps in the colon or rectum, though not all cancers or polyps bleed. Typically, occult blood is passed in such small amounts that it can be detected only through the chemical use in a fecal occult blood test. If blood is detected through a fecal occult blood test, additional tests may be needed to determine the source of bleeding. The fecal occult blood test can only detect the presence or absence of blood. It can't determine what's causing the bleeding. The fecal occult blood test isn't recommended if you have colon cancer symptoms, if you notice blood in your stool or in the toilet or if you experience abdominal pain or a change in your bowel habits, make an appointment with your dog. Generally, there are three types of fecal occult blood tests. The first one is a guaiac smear test in which we collect three stool samples smeared on the card sent to the lab and there will be color changing chemicals that detects blood. Secondly, we have the fecal immunochemical test which, in which we collect 1 to 3 stool samples smeared on a card and sent to a lab and the antibodies will be able to detect blood. And lastly, we have the flushable reagent pad in which we place a pad in the toilet 3 days in a row and the pad changes colour if the blood is detected and this re uh, recording uh, will be done by ourselves. In order for patients to prepare for the test, various food dietary supplements and medications can affect the results of some fecal occult blood tests, either indicating the blood is present when it isn't, which is false positive, or missing the presence of blood that actually is there, false negative. Your doctor may ask you to avoid certain food or medicine. To ensure accurate test results, follow your doctor's instructions carefully. For about 3 days before the test, your doctor may ask you to avoid certain fruits and vegetables including broccoli and turnips, red meat, vitamin C supplements, pain relievers such as aspirin and ibuprofen, for example Advil or Motrin IP.